Saw the city passing by my window Was in the crowd but I felt so alone Looked at my phone like every other second My future was blurry and numb A tunnel where there's no light Oh but then you came and sat right next to me Your eyes they glowed and filled me guys what's up so it's just 10 30 and my day has already been fully packed because after i went to drop to shift at school i had to run a few errands i don't know why they're still for scarcity it's it's crazy like i don't understand like how long are we supposed to continue this for scarcity for how long are we supposed to stay without just driving into a filling station and buying your foil and where i even bought my foil or where i buy foil now they sell it at 220 naira per liter which is not the rate it's supposed to be 180 naira per liter and apart from the fact that you're buying it 220 naira per liter if you carry keg there even if you have a car you'll collect 500 naira on each of the kegs that you take there it's just ridiculous i had to fill up two kegs and then fill up my tank i had to queue it's it's crazy but at least it's better than the the other queues that you know the prices are like 180 naira per liter 200 naira per liter those ones have longer queues and i can't even for the life of me just wait there things are so expensive it's annoying as in you just have to cut costs in some places at least because we've been fasting we've not had to eat like three square meals um so that's good i mean at least that we've been saving money from that i've really been saving money though because the fruits we've been eating are quite expensive fruits are actually very expensive you guys very expensive and um because we can't even buy in bulk we just have to buy little at a time and i can't go as far as where i usually buy them in Oingbo. i have to probably buy in my neighborhood or something but now nah, that's about to change um just got home now there's no light but at least people's generators are not turned on so there's no noise it's kind of serene and there's breeze blowing that's why i'm not sweating like that um yeah and then i had to go to the supermarket let me tell you something what took me to the supermarket was one thing one thing i wanted to buy new school socks for tisha i wanted to buy black socks for her because you know at school they can wear black socks or white socks or gray socks and then her white socks were already looking one kind and i didn't i didn't like how it looked just so i went there to buy one black socks tell me why i came home with a truckload of clothes like <laughs> it's not a truckload but it's 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 a lot of clothes so uh mary has been telling me that she doesn't have tops she doesn't have a lot of especially like plain in the house tops like just, just tops you can wear around the house she doesn't really have them or maybe tops to just to just you know just just go out you know she doesn't have them she has a lot of dresses she has pants she has a, more than enough pants but she doesn't have tops is it that the tops are faded once you shower or they no longer a size um now she has turned a lot of the dresses she used to wear into tops because they're they still size her but they're shorter so she's turned a lot of them into tops i told the lady at the supermarket was that i just okay i saw this cute top and i was like oh how much is it and she was like oh they were running some type of sale or something she's like it was two five i'm like okay all right you know and then so she starts bringing out other ones that i couldn't resist even though <laughs> <laughs> the word in my account is it's not it's not jelly after they gave me my bill i called my husband i'm like run me my check i just bought clothes for your daughter so run me my check um so this is costing me you're going to buy tops for i'm like no but uh 
I did, so you gotta run me my check because it's your child that I bought this things for. Um, but let me show you the cute, cute. I bought this pants for her. It's a pants set. One, two, three, four, five, six. They're about six inside. She has pants, but every time I see pants, I just, I just like to buy for her because as a girl child, she needs to learn like that. You don't, you don't use pants till they've fitted, 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 fitted. I got this really cute mustard top for her. I think it's really cute. She can wear it out. I don't know what this... Okay, this is NY, New York City. I've been NY brand. I don't know. But just got this top for her. I think it's really cute. It's mustard. She can wear it to church. Um, yeah. It has like this three fall false button, fox button, fork button, full button. Yeah. But it's, I think it's cute. So this is the one Mary loves best. Mary, because Mary has, she has looked at everything as soon as I came inside. Um, there's this off-shoulder dress. This is a top, rather. This is actually the most expensive item. This was a top. This top is 6'5". Yeah, it was the most expensive top I got for her. It's 6'5", but I just couldn't resist because I think it's so cute. <laughs> this black crop top. They said it had the pink of it. It's Primark. Okay, I think all these brands are actually Primark. Um... I saw this, uh, and I don't understand why they keep mixing up the sizes because they wrote age seven to eight here, and this top is definitely going to size Tisha. It's supposed to be a crop top, <laughs> but I don't think my daughter will be wearing a crop top like that. She probably wear like a long uh, jeans or top on it. This top was actually two five also. Um, yeah, it's really cute. It's black. Okay, so these were the kind of tops I actually was wanted to buy for her, like play around the house tops. So this one is also Primark too. This one is, I think this one too was 2.5. It's, it's just a vest. It's just a really cute uh, tank top type of situation going on here. This top, I actually picked this top out myself because I like the, the, the what you call it? The, is it the, the lace detail? Can you see the lace detail on it? I like the lace detail and I like the color. I like teal colors. Um, this top was actually 4,000. God, God help us. So this was, um, this is age three to five. It's also Primark, Primark Cares. Yes, I got this top too. I like it. Oh, it's, it's matchy matchy with my top. Um, yeah, it's just a fun play around the house top. This is by, what brand is this? Family Fun, Infant and Toddler. Yeah, Toddler Girls, size 3T. I can't remember how much this is because there's no price on it, so I think the lady had to bring it to show the price, but it's really cute, really fun. Um, I think this one is the, the Children's Place, yes, this is Children's Place. If you're a mom, you know all these brands, Primark, Children's Place. Even if you don't make conscious effort to know them, whenever you're wearing your kids' clothes, you would, like, see them. Even if they're thrifted, even if they're, you always see these um, brands on them. Um, the Children's Place, yes, I can't remember how much this was. I think it has a tag. Okay, this was 2-5, yeah. And last but not the least, the lady made me take this top. I was very skeptical, but it's cute. It, it's more of an adult top. So there's like a, there's like a shimmery um, thing going on at the neck here. Yeah. And then it has like this sash. It has like a sash. I think you can remove the sash. Yeah, it has like a sash. And then is um, it's long sleeve. Oh, sorry. I'm showing you the sash part. It's long sleeve, as you can see. Really cute color too. Um, it's going to be T-shirt size, definitely. This is by, I think it's a different brand I have actually not come across before. Little Heart, yeah, it's by Little Heart brand. Um, yeah, and it's, it's, I think it's cute. I knew that um, it was tops I wanted to get for her, but I couldn't resist this really cute short that I saw. It's by Primark. Um, yeah, it's by Primark. Um, it's her size is 24 to 36 months, so that's two to three years. I know it's going to be her size, and it's kind of stretchy. I like it. It's jeans, you guys. She can wear it out. She can wear it with, um, with uh, sneakers. She can wear it with sandals, slippers, whatever. I think it's really cute. I also got this Carter's shorts for her. It's 3T. I like it. It looks really nice. I, I feel like it's a, it's a, it's a guy's short. But honestly, I don't care. I've never really cared about, never been one to care about those things as long as she looks cute in them. And I think she's going to look cute in this shorts. It's just regular, regular schmegula H&M. This is actually H&M shorts. Yeah, it's really cute too. And I know she's going to like, she, she loves shorts. Oh yeah, and the actual socks that took me to, to buy these things. Yeah, socks for her school shoes. 
guys. You know, it took Bodrum, man. God will continue to provide for us. Also, I had to get her this um, tracing books. Tracing books. So this is for the tracing and writing. So this is for handwriting book, A, B, C. This is the small letter A, small alphabet, and then the, the big alphabet, A, B, C, and then the one, two, three. So I had to talk to her teacher in school today and i had to express some of the issues that have been going on with her that i did not like like she not wanting to do her own work just having her you know just reassure me and just talk to me and just you know share even her experiences with me um helps or helped a lot so she also told me to go get these books that it will be helpful for her to do them at home um and yeah we're 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 gonna be doing it she's gonna be doing it she's <laughs> gonna have a routine now you know for when she's back from school Parenting is not easy, especially as a first-time mom. There's so much to learn. Um, but then that's why whenever I learn something, I always come out here to share it with you guys because I understand that there are people that are in my situation that, you know, they never parented before or don't even have access to people that they can talk to about this. So just watching this just gives you, like, renewed hope and just having that mindset that, you know, you're not alone in this motherhood thing or in this parenting thing. And, you know, like, everybody makes mistakes and everything cannot always be perfect, but then you can always learn. You can always learn and relearn. We learned a lot of things when we were younger, and a lot of us have had to relearn things now, you know, and do things differently. So that's why I try to be as transparent as much as possible and share my struggles with you guys so that, and also even ask you guys for suggestions and ideas. And I appreciate everyone that always comes to comment and tell me, you know, I think you should do this better or you should um, probably incorporate this. Like, especially if you're not like saying it in a rude way where you're just, you know, genuinely concerned and you just genuinely wish to help, you know, it goes a long way. But then there's some people that just, decide to be rude about it and doesn't make sense to me never makes sense to me but yeah um yeah that's what i've been up to today there's no light i don't know what to do i don't want to turn on jen because i kind of like how serene everything is right now and i have work to do too so i'm thinking do i just go straight to my parents house when mary is done or i don't know man i don't know <laughs> but what i know is i'm gonna see you guys in the next one <laughs>